What is going on guys and welcome back our YouTube fishing family to AFNS Outdoors. I'm Justin Lewis and I am just finishing up a little pond ice fishing session here. Um, and unfortunately, the weather has not been real great here in central Iowa for ice fishing. We've got, uh, right now, all this ice that you can see is really, really thin. And there's about a three inch gap that is just slush and water and then there's about four to five inches of ice underneath of that so every step you take you kind of fall through a little bit and then you actually land on the ice that is you know on the pond which is kind of a weird sensation but uh fishing not real good uh, i don't know if the weather's just kind of screwed up going from hot to cold hot to cold hot to cold but i'll tell you two things that are, are really good right now if you follow us on social media instagram and snapchat you guys will see that i recently purchased a k-drill auger well, I took it back. So I didn't like it as much as I thought I would, but here's what I picked up. We got the Strike Master Lithium 40 volt. And I tell you what guys, I punched probably 40 plus holes just around this pond, going around the banks and stuff. And it is amazing, absolutely love it very happy with the decision so if you're a k-drill fan i'm sorry but in my opinion this is much better so hopefully you didn't all click off the video if you're all k-drill fans but the other thing that is really really nice is i just got a delivery notification that my brand new mold is in it was just delivered this is a mold that i ordered specifically because i love pretty much every aspect of the baits that this thing makes so I'm gonna get off the ice, I'm gonna go pick it up, and we're gonna pour some soft plastics tonight. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying some of these videos. So, you know, when the weather sucks, uh, it's kind of a fun way to spend some time is just making some baits for the spring. And I tell you what, when all this ice goes away and spring is here, we are gonna be hammering some fish, and I cannot wait to do it on baits that I made myself. So as always, thanks for taking your time and watching this video. If you guys like it, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We normally do a little more ice fishing than this, but unfortunately, that hasn't been the case. So filling in some time with uh, some, some good old soft plastic bait making. And I tell you what, I'm having a blast with it. So if you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is AFNS Outdoors. Look, um, not a lot of equipment today. We've got the big injector in the back. We've got some worm oil a color that i have not tried yet from do it molds that's their x2 june bug color we've got two sizes of moss green glitter we got 0.04 and 0.015 so a large and a medium sized flake got the tip gun got a cup of plastisol and more importantly did i tell you guys i got a new mold i'm really excited about this one So this mold comes from BTS Molds, not a sponsor, anything like that, but it's where I found it. And I've wanted this mold for a while. I wanted a, uh, a specific craw mold, and I think this is going to be it. And I tell you what, she's a beaut, right around four and a half. We'll call it four and a half. It's four and a half. It's a four and a half inch craw mold. Nice thick body, which is exactly what I wanted. Nice and thick. The claws are pretty skinny, which should give some good action. And then right at the top, let me make sure this is coming through on the camera. And then right at the top, right on the edges of the claws, it gets a little bit deeper. So just the tips of the claws along the side are weighted which should give for some awesome movement. Also, not a lot of extra appendages. I don't really care for those too much. I don't know that it adds a ton to the bait. A little bit of movement, sure. A couple little antennae, a couple little, you know, legs. But I wanted a nice big body. That is what I really wanted. Um, so, Junebug, we got, you know, the color down. Now we need to get in the flake. So this is what did I say this was? This is 0.04 hex cut. This is moss green. And we're gonna do like one and a half. This is a quarter teaspoon. So one and a half quarter teaspoons of large. And like I said, I'm gonna put the lid on because I always end up with a mess. And just like that, look at that. Now it's all over my hand. Oh my gosh. 
and this is 0 0.015 so this is the medium that I have I have a smaller one so we're gonna go with one of those and you know what let's just do the same almost the same about one and one and a third I feel like when you're talking about quarter teaspoons, it really doesn't matter. And all this stuff that's going to fall off on my hand. So, you know, probably about one and a half. Gosh, look at that. It's a lot of glitter. My thought was with the thinner claws, we might have to pour this a little bit hotter. But since I've never poured it, I don't know. I'm going to go try, try and go a little slow here. Come on. Try to go a little slow with it. Keep some good pressure on there. Good pressure on there. Let those claws really fill in. Hope for no dentine. Fill her in. There you go. Look at the injector. That's kind of what we're going for. Um, body will be a little bit thicker, so it'll be darker like this, but I'm hoping the claws are going to look like that. That'd be cool. All right. Well, first pours. Let's see how they went. Um, seemed like the sprue really kind of sucked down a lot. So maybe been a little too hot still. May have to pour it. We'll see what the claws look like. That's my main concern. We may be able to pour a little cooler. It is a really thick body, but I'm worried about the claws more than anything. Oh, well. <laughs> Definitely released from there with that warm oil. Huh. You know. That's not too bad. Uh, I, I think I got too much glitter. But. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool really. Uh, nice and transparent purple. Which is kind of what I was going for. We've definitely got a lot of glitter in there. Which, you know. For a standard June bug, probably a little much, but I don't mind it. It gives it kind of a nice little flash. It definitely catches the light. So pour four of these at a time. I'm not, I'm not seeing any denting. The claws, the claws look good to me. The appendages look good. Man, I really love this thick body style. Well. I think those are cool, so round two. Come on. And knock that sprue off. Voila! That was a much better reveal than last time. <laughs> last time it just jumped out and went everywhere. No, those are cool. You know what? Hang on. I gotta get a picture of this. Oh, yeah. That's. That's sexy. Let's get the bourbon glass out of the way. Okay, I'm back at it now. We had to take a picture for the gram and the Snapchat. You guys know how it works. So before I, I kind of pick these up here, I, I want you to kind of look at the colors here. So first run is this row of four. And these are the subsequent runs after that. Look at the progression. Look at the progression from here to here. And look how much that plastisol changed. The first pour to the second pour, look how much the plastisol changed. We have this really nice light purple color here that I was really kind of going for. And then by the second reheat, see how much darker it is. It's almost like it gets like this maroonish or this reddish color to it. And then by the subsequent pour, the third pour here, it is really kind of a reddish color. Um, so the consistency over the reheat is really not good. Um, yes, you can add stabilizer. No, I have not messed with that too much. Yes, you can scorch your plastic. I'm not, I promise. Um, I'm really reheating these pretty slowly, like 30 second intervals tops, trying to get them to come out at that, like that 350 mark. I'm pouring them around 320, 330, somewhere in there. Um, so I don't think it's, it's really a me thing. I think it's just, you know, the durability of this plastic bit. I think we're going to have to play with the stabilizer, see if it helps keep the consistency a little bit because I definitely, I love these. These are okay. These to me are a little unacceptable. That is too dark for what we were going for. 
and that's kind of sad but absolutely love these baits still um and the craw mold itself i highly recommend it. if you guys are looking for a good craw with a big dense body this is a mold that i absolutely love i'm going to be pouring a ton and i mean a ton of these because these are awesome for flipping pitching pretty much any application that you need a craw for this is the one that i'm probably going to be throwing a lot this spring just to see how it works out so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video i love the new mold i'm going to be pouring a lot of these like i said um 702 craw mold i don't think i have much more to say about it than that they turned out amazing. You know, we've got some issues with the color change over time and consistency, but we'll get that under control. All right, well, I think that about wraps it up for today. So if you guys liked the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I tell you guys what, I'm having a blast learning a new skill with pouring some soft plastic baits. So thanks as always for taking some time out of your day to join us and watch our videos. Take care. We'll see you guys next time right here on AFNS Outdoors.